Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy tech tip. In this one, I'm going to show you how to uh, use the clips uh, function in Live 9 to save yourself uh, multiple sort of versions of riffs and things like that there that you've created. And it's a cool way for um, sort of experimenting and, and keeping your sort of previous versions of everything. And for also if you're sort of in the middle of a um, making a track, you can quickly sort of drag in uh, preloaded tracks onto your, your workflow. So um, the first thing then, um, basically this is, again, it's another simple trick, um, but something that's very useful. So for example, here I have um, Anna loaded up and I have a, a riff that I just um, uh, pushed in. Okay, so say we're really fond of this sort of riff. We're like, okay, I like this. Um, I want to save that. So basically you just go down to your places folder and you go to your user library make sure you're in the clips section and if i go to this clip um i can just um i could rename it first start so if i go for um say whatever the name of the track is we'll, we'll just call this demo um but we'll call it um uh, riff one and if i just drag this clip and just drop it into the clips folder uh this will go in here and it'll actually um whenever you go to preview it'll actually load up your, your synth that you've got in there so you can actually hear it. Okay, so then um, for example, say that I have done that and I've gone on and I've uh, maybe changed this a wee bit. So I've gone in and I have put a flanger on it. And I've maybe put a reverb on there. And I've gone into Anna and I've changed this slightly. And then say I'm happy with that. I want to save this. So I'm going to rename that again to Rift 2. And I'll go down to my places user folder and I'll just drag that into the clips and there we go we've got our second one and I can preview that and I'm going back and preview the other one so basically if I'm then sort of in my, well, my middle of my workflow and maybe I've, I've moved on and I've gone and I'm thinking to myself oh, I'd really like to hear what that riff sounds like with this drum so I can actually go in I can hit preview and say I'm happy with that take, then I would just click on it, drop it into the track, or you just double click it and it will come in here, but it'll bring in your flanger, reverb, Anna, with that preset already loaded. Or if you've changed, for example, maybe the riff slightly. So say you've got the, the riff changed, or maybe I'll maybe reverse them. And I say for, I'll go in and rename that to three and drop it into clips. Then we have a, a third version there. So if I have, um, if you drop it onto an audio track that already has things already loaded onto it, um, I'll just show you this for an example. So say I have another track loaded up here and we've already got um something else loaded so i'll put an eq8 on here just to show you for an example so if i was to go into our user library and our, our clips and say i like this riff um but i also liked what preset i had loaded here and i didn't want to overwrite that but i wanted to bring the riff in um, dragging that in to a track that already has things on it like this won't overwrite that it'll just bring the the audio or the the midi data in so you see there it didn't bring in all of the other um, effects but if i was to bring it into a new audio or a midi track it will bring in all of the effects as well 
So I think that's a really handy way of, of sort of bashing out a, a whole um, sort of rake of, of clips and um, riffs and you can you can you know you can categorize them afterwards so you could create a new folder and, and say call it uh, I don't know uh, <laughs> whatever you called it so demo one I'm sure you'll have a name for your tracks so you could just drag that in to your demo one track and then you've got some um, things already loaded there that you can bring in for inspiration so say you've just gone through and bashed out a whole loop load of loops and then you've sat down one day in your studio and you can just go through your clips and go great this one's the one that i'm going to use just bring it into your track okay so i hope you enjoyed this tech tip and again i hope that it does have some sort of influence on your workflow and i'll see you again then in the next video